Hi guys, welcome to my channel. Today we're going to be learning how to do the simple and quick twist braid. So this one is awesome if you don't know how to braid and you just want to do something funky with your hair. This is my go-to when going crazy in the house and I need to do something with my hair because this gives me a headache some days. So this is a simple, easy, two-step braid that any mum, any person can do with their hair. So we're going to need some little elastics, any. Sometimes I use loom bands because I can't find anything else in the house. You need a brush or not, it's up to you. And a comb or not, up to you. So first of all, we're just going to deal with this mess um brush it out get a good brush because it's everywhere and it's in your face and it's annoying and yeah so we'll do that now i sometimes use a comb i sometimes don't just depends on what's in front of me and whatever so i either use my hand or i just grab chunks and pull it apart doesn't matter as long as it's out of my face, I don't care. So today, for the sake of the video, I'm gonna use a comb, my $2, what do you call it? Oh my God, I can't even think of what it's called right now. A comb. Anyway, so I'm going to use this and I'm just going to go down. By the way, I got it from Kmart. Um, so yeah. Doesn't matter, it can be here, 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 it can be zigzag, it can be whatever you want because it does not matter. It doesn't even matter if it's done properly, it's out of your face. So we're just gonna go down the back quickly, slowly. It just depends on how much time you have. If you're rushing out the door and you wanna do something different, then do whatever. But as you can see, that's pretty rough. Um, and this is usually how I do my hair. I can do it a lot nicer, but I'm usually in a hell of a rush. So now that you've got it in two pieces, you can, you don't have to do it in two pieces. You can do it like sort of at the front. If your hair's a bit shorter, you can do like a little fringe, fringe one. But if you're like me and don't have that kind of time to separate and do all that sort of fancy stuff with your hair, then just go along with this. So, You've got it separated, doesn't have to be neat, go wild. And I usually just either with a comb like that and make a triangle or with my finger and make a triangle, doesn't really matter. So as you can see, it's kind of kind of a triangle. You can sort of see the, the points at the front of the head. And then what we're going to do is we're going to separate. Boom, it's that easy, separate into two little pieces. Now, if you're like me, you don't always have them exactly the same thickness as each other. Try, if you can, try and get them the same. If not, whatever. People are still gonna compliment because there are days where I do them horrible. I mean, I was braiding and dressing my child. So I don't know how I did it, but I did it. That day I had people going, oh my God, your hair looks amazing. I was like, in my head I'm going, no, it doesn't. <laughs> anyway, back to the braid. So what we're going to do is, so we've got the two pieces and we're going to take this one and go under this one. So it's pretty much just a twist. And this is how we turn it into a braid. So we're going to grab another piece from down here and the piece that you've done that with, you just want to grab it and join it and then literally twist. So I'll show you again, and it's just that, that twist. And you do that the whole way down. So we just twist, and I literally just use my thumb, and I, go, and I don't always have these nails either. Like, I do it with no nails at all. And I just grab a piece, join it, twist. Grab a piece, join it, twist. And you just keep going 
until you get to the end then what you want to do is you pretty much just feel how much thickness both of those are and then you just feel how much thickness is left and you kind of want them to to be the same thickness like the same amount of hair in that and then you're just grabbing that getting that piece there putting that in the middle of that one and then all you're doing is plaiting it then and that is literally it it takes seconds like quickest easiest braid you can do in the morning or before bed even and it gives a beautiful wave too so i do recommend doing your hair while it's wet um the night before or whatever and it'll actually give you this really cool wave if you want to do something funky with your hair if you want to try something new but as you can see i'm a bit like that and then you just tie it off with your little elastics loom bands rubber band don't recommend rubber bands they're really bad for your hair but if that's all you've got in front of you go for it honestly go for it um and then we tie it off and then i'll show you how to do the other side again black spit thing so we're going to go again i'm going to do it with my finger this time i'm going to go like that and we're just going to twist 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 And it is that simple. There's your twist braid. How easy and quick is that? Now, um, if you've got really, really fine hair and not a lot of it, and it looks a little bit, a little bit thin, like I have a lot of hair on my head, so that looks nice and thick. You can go through and just pull. Just want to pull on those little pieces, and it just, it just gives it that, that nice little effect. And you can go through and pull these out and just play with it if you have time if you have time which if you're a mum you probably don't have that time but if you do if you just your kids are asleep and you're like oh I might do something fun with my hair you can do that so that is the twist braid very very simple very easy again you can do it start here and do it across here um, I am cutting my hair off in the next couple of months so I will do another video on how to do these braids on short hair so yeah, that, that's, it's that simple. I hope you enjoyed this video and keep watching for more. Bye.